Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today we put together and executed yet another Lord to Let me subscribe. I fuck with folks constantly. So you guys, here's the thing. Trey and Jelly actually met on a dating show called Matt, and that is how they actually met each other, and that is how they actually got together. You sound like you got trust issues. That's the biggest reason why I'm single, because I got trust issues, and my trust issues get me in trouble, because I feel like a lot of people, when they got trust issues, they assume a lot. When you assume a lot, you do shit that you don't mean, or you do shit off the impulse of your assumption. But as time went on, Trey didn't think it was a good idea to actually jump back into a relationship right away because he had just got cheated on in his previous relationship. And now in his current relationship, Trey is claiming that Jelly is now showing those same signs. Hey. Yeah, so. That's the fuck, y'all? Yeah, so what you doing? Oh, Open shit. Up. What the fuck is you doing, bro? Bro, what is you doing? You look like a big ass mustard bottle. Get the fuck out the car, man. <laughs> Welcome back well, to another episode on real. Jack TV. This should look a little sketchy because he back, he back again. How is he back? Or oh, no, they, they, they did say previously though. That last one with the real, the dude was goofy as hell though. He but she ain't did nothing. She said, "What? See, I'm finna leave. She went to go dress. He he just want the bus in there." That nigga goofy. Britt wanted to put her boyfriend Danny to the loyalty test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. Basically, I put him up to this test because his whole vibe just changed. He started acting different. I called him a couple lies. His phone be ringing nonstop in the middle of the night. He be saying he going to work, but yeah, he come oh. the next day. So he got a whole list there. Yep. So you guys, for today's test, we had a lot to work with. Thanks to Britt, we knew that Danny's birthday was in two days. So I thought it would be a good idea to use that to our advantage. We knew if we helped Britt come up with a gift to give Danny as an early birthday gift, okay. it wouldn't raise any suspicion. So that's exactly how we engaged our test. We rented out an entire spa facility to see if Britt's boyfriend Danny was truly loyal to her or not. We hired our good friend Nancy to pretend to be the receptionist and work the front desk so she can give him instruction on where to go. And our friend Fancy to play the decoy. Now what Danny doesn't know, while Fancy is giving him the massage of his life, the whole team and Britt will be right down the hall in the green room, set up as our command center, watching the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to go say shit about her hair. <laughs> so at what point did he start showing his red flags? That shit is <laughs> over with, though, gang. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, how my volume sound, Tori? I, I sound decent. Is the video um, low or is, or is decent too? Conclusion without any receipts or any proof, so that's why I was like, let me just do this and if he passed he would probably wouldn't even know nothing about it but i don't even want to just jump on him and not knowing if that's what it really is okay so if he do pass you wouldn't want me to post it no so if you don't want to post a pass if he failed you would want me to post it if he failed want you to post <laughs> it because so why wouldn't you want me to post if he passed because uh, i mean it's just gonna be like i because i'm gonna feel I'm going to be honest, I'm going to right, because it's like, damn, I really thought that. So you guys, I'm starting to notice a pattern. I've had three couples who actually passed the loyalty test but did not want to post their video because they did not know how their significant other will react to them not trusting them. Okay. But if he failed, it's like you post all this online, you publicly post to me, you love me, this and that, you could post all that publicly so you could post how you, you know, you fucking up behind doors. Okay. So we had our camera set up. Everybody was mic'd up. At this I ain't gonna point, lie. Waiting on Danny to arrive. If I gotta so put I my girl on a loyalty test, sure I don't need really to be with her, bro. Because I didn't want him to that does me speaking. <laughs> or he was just a surprise to everyone. Just be smooth. Be natural. Calm. Okay. Hello. Hey, babe, what you doing? I'm on the road right now. I'm going to that spot and shit. Did you let the dog out before you, um, before you left the house? Yeah, I let him out. I just called, really called to remind you about the appointment. You can't be late today because remember they had um, limited spots. Uh, yeah, I got you. Appreciate you taking care of me too. Appreciate it. Buggly. Where you was at though? You weren't even at the crib when I left. You can go somewhere else. Ah, I was like, like, I gonna run to the grocery store to get something. Why you, are you in my business? You gonna catch us set him up. <laughs> I'll be there when you get home. All right. I love you. I love you too. All right, bye. Bye. Whew. You almost panicked there. <laughs> <laughs> He's a. <laughs> Everybody ready to go? Oh, no, don't look at me. Are you got to talk. Fancy <laughs> nice to go. Roger that. 
Yeah, like, this bitch on walking talk beats. Come on, G. You walking in right now? How you don't see niggas in the... Hold on, no, 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 no. no. It, it might be fake. How you don't see niggas in the camera filming him, bro? That's why you got to stay off that phone you in public. Stay off that motherfucking phone, gang. Okay, perfect. All right, if you want to follow me this way, we'll go ahead and get you all set up. They ran out a whole massage parlor for this shit. They must be making good shit. Hey Jack, this shit about to be crazy as fuck. So now that Danny is in the dressing room changing out of his clothes, everyone is in position to be ready to start the test. All we are waiting on now is for him to be guided to the room where fans will be posing at his masseuse and the test will begin. Okay, nice to meet you. I'll be your masseuse. Um, okay, so have you ever had a massage experience before? No, I've never. No? Okay, all right, good. Well, you can go ahead and take off your robe and put it over there on the other bed for me. Okay, you look nice <laughs> in that robe, baby. Appreciate it. I love you. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he look nice in that robe. They be shitty as hell. Yeah, she gonna do her job for sure. You set them up, sweetheart. You had a massage, so yo, you, you ain't got a woman, because you ain't got a massage, so she ain't never massaged you. Yeah, I got a woman, but I've never had a professional massage before. So she massages you, though? Yeah. Oh, how often? I probably had a massage about four or five times. Wait, and how long y'all been together? Three years. And only just a handful of times? Yeah. Oh. I don't think this is, I don't think this is a part of the experiment. More than three to four or five times, whatever you said. She's shady as fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> she low key eating her ass up. I'm doing the best she can to pull the answers out. Don't take nothing personal that she said. <laughs> the fuck out of here. That shit low key. It ain't good for his side, though. You need to get you a woman who can massage you every day like this. Wouldn't you like that? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, do she touch on you like this? Or how she touch on you? Man, 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 hey, look. Time out. Right. Time out, time out, time out, man. I would be like, is, is this a fucking massage parlor? Or this? Or you trying to suck my dick or something? What's going on? What is she talking about? Why, why are you keep talking about my lady? Niggas can come to a massage parlor, nigga? What is he talking about? That's why y'all here. That's why y'all get paid to massage niggas. What the fuck is he talking about? Okay. He is lying. You give him massages? Yes, Often. all the time. All the time. Oh, Look, now your girl in the room. Things that I can do too. I think in your package I saw that you're getting the jacuzzi. Oh, they got jacuzzi? Yeah. Thank you, though. So, I mean, what do you think? Jacuzzi, right? Oh, yeah, I'm good with it. Oh, okay. Just making oh. sure you ain't got no crazy girlfriend that's gonna come up here and act crazy on me. Nah, nah. She know I'm up here. She know I'm getting my massage and everything. I'm pretty sure she knew we had a hot tub. Oh, uh, okay. Well, she not gonna know about us then. <laughs> he trying to play it that way. I was sure she... You know what I mean? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> right. I was sure she knew it was in the package. I was to do. I mean... She knew we had a jacuzzi in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> what if we do? Are you okay with that if something else happens? I mean, how about we go over there now and I'll just show you? Yes. What do you think? This nigga ain't even getting a, a real massage. I would have been like, what the fuck going on? It's massage we sell. Although Danny just agreed to get in the hot tub with our decoy, Fancy, he has not yet failed this test. At this point, all he's really done was get a massage. Fancy mentioned joining him in the jacuzzi in a flirty way, but Danny maybe could have interpreted that in a non-flirty way, which is why phase two of this test will take place in the jacuzzi, where Fancy will turn it up a notch and ask Danny to go back to her crib. Let's go. Come on. What the fuck? Phone came in this bitch for a, for a three minute massage. What about like, man, fuck that shit. So, how you feel about him actually about to go get in the jacuzzi? He know he ain't coming for it, so I'm confused. <laughs> hey. I know 
you do too. I told you that already though. So Set how you like it? Right so up. How you liking it so far? You like it? What? Is it really hot? At the end of the day, he know what he should and should not do. So. Exactly. Niggas don't see that. This is a pure, real. a kind of weird though. The massage is big as I hell. Can you. At first, at first, bro. You don't mind, huh? I don't want to keep pausing and shit, but listen, bro. The first massage was just weak as hell. She gave phone them a, a, a four, five minute massage, and then Insta got to see talking about your girl. You ain't thinking of your man, like. And then you walk in the massage, probably ain't no activity going on around this motherfucker. It's just me, me and her. And then this bitch. And nobody else in the thousand rooms we just walk past. It ain't no activity. Motherfuckers ain't giggling and laughing around this motherfucker. It's just us and this motherfucker. And first thing she's saying is, shit, damn, you must ain't got no lady. Man, you trying to go to the jacuzzi? What you think about that? Like, what the fuck? What the, what the fuck going on? All the black men, is this a massage? What the fuck going on? Where I'm at? Okay. I mean, nobody else coming in here but us. Right. I do. I know. Ooh, she's she's sitting on it. How much time you got to spare after this? Is that an automatic fill for you? Yes. Ten minutes is probably about the time. Oh, okay. So you want to give me like a little massage because I gave you one? You want me to give you massage? I mean, yeah, just a little bit. You'll be all right. I know, but you can give me one. Right, you supposed to be giving me a massage. Right. The fuck am I giving yeah, you a massage for? Mm -hmm. This against our policy. I would have got the It'll fuck up, okay. Joe. I would have, man, you look. Should. this. I'm going to go home and have a few drinks after this. You want to come? You can just go have one little drink. Don't be like that. It's one little drink. It's one little drink. One the drink, okay? One the drink. We can do it after this. We'll be okay. The decoy, okay. weak as hell. If dude was smart. Don't stop massaging me. I didn't tell you to stop massaging me. I know that. I know, and you are too. That's why we need to make something happen. You okay with making something happen? Ain't no way niggas this easy. I mean, easy. Hey, floors, bro. <laughs> We gonna go to my house after this. I don't stay too far. We gonna have a few drinks and we'll see what happens, okay? Uh huh. But I didn't tell you to stop massaging me. I mean, at any given time that you wanna go in, we we can go in. We we can stop it. It's up to you, though. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna introduce <laughs> you to some good things tonight when we go to my house, okay? Some shit you ain't never seen before. Okay. As long as you here for a little while, night, baby. He already failed it. Like it's no, it's no coming back from this. He failed it. Okay, so do you want to go? Yeah, come on, Britt didn't want this to go on. <laughs> the main goal was to see if he would agree to go back to Fancy House, in which he did. Comment in the comments if you consider this a fail in your book. In Britt's eyes, he completely failed, and now she gets her chance. Oh, they're walking right at the, <laughs> at the camera. <laughs> Look at the photos. Oh my god. What is this? What? What? You came here for one thing. You came here for a massage. What the? Is this? You don't like be talking to you? You don't like be talking to you? You don't like be talking to you? Uh, <laughs> what is going on? Are you? you I, 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 I can't even do nothing nice for your fucking birthday because you gonna do all that? Set me up. Set you up. You set yourself up. Nah, you set, you set me yourself up. up. You, you knew what was you going on. You came in for one thing. One thing. You can't, can't do like one thing. I can't do well, a massage. That's more than a massage. It was in the hot tub. I got my massage and we got in the hot tub. Okay, well, you came here for one thing. Okay, so how to go from the hot the massage to the hot tub? Man. Then you talking about, you don't, I don't give you massages and all that. What's up with that? What's up with that? Since when I don't give you massages. Why you got all these fucking cameras pulling up? I was actually trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. It's the why that they cheated. That shit is dead. Damn, my ass. You mad because you got fucking cut. You mad because you got cut. You full of shit. Like, my birthday is in a couple of days. You full of shit. You set yourself up. That shit You set yourself up. 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 Now you trying to go. You wasn't trying to go when you was in that hot tub. You wasn't trying to go when you was in that. You was real content in the hot tub. This shit is dead. This shit is over. Ain't no fucking way. We we ain't going no. You better go with the, with the with your your hot tub, buddy. So this shit over. Dead. That shit crazy. Bro. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck 
fucking hot tub? Go for a hot tub. You came for a massage. How you get from off the massage table to a hot tub? Did I yeah. tell you anything about a hot tub? I would have told you. I thought it was in a package, baby. <laughs> Oh, bro, let me get my shit. I'm up. <laughs> but if we put everything into, co into context, his girlfriend wrong as hell anyway, bro. He full of shit, but I, I should have been new. I should have been new. The signs was there. I actually gave him the benefit of the doubt, but he fucked it up for himself. All I needed was the proof. It been there. He full of shit, but it's over. It's dead. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got to worry about nothing. I hope when you go home, he know you can get his shit and get the fuck out of my house. That's what we can do. Happy birthday. I should have been. Happy here. birthday. I, I, I'm telling you from the way he acts, she caught the, you. the midnight calls, the text messages, the vibe, the vibe be off. I should have been through that. I just was trying to hope I wasn't overthinking it and trying to like have insecure issues and stuff. But he really just blew it for himself. Like he fucked up for that. Like I really, I honestly thought he was going to pass. So as long as we got your answers, um, that's what, that's that's all that matters. Do, do you mind if I use the footage? No, I really don't. I told you from the beginning. If he uh, if he failed, that's his ass. I don't care about none of that. You can post all that online. You can publicly love me. Let let your followers know this. Let your fan base know. Whatever you try to persuade to the public, show them that you really you ain't shit. I kind of feel like he could have passed if you wouldn't have did all that. Yeah. But yeah, no, I was just gonna say like. Time if you did all that. Baby, ain't no limits to this shit, baby. And, and you're right. And, and you're right. You're right. I'm not. So he's just basically just leaving me after this. Like, I was able to tell you, let's go to the jacuzzi, do a slide. He knew that you paid for this. You set this up. So you could have came here any time, like, surprise him, pick him up, bring something to eat or anything. So, yeah, child, get rid of him, girl. Yeah, because just as easily as you influence him, the next bitch probably could do the same. So he can get the fuck, honestly. I don't even care no more. I ain't gonna lie, gang. They both wrong, but she more fucked up in this situation. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> this nigga birthday is coming up, bro. And the, and, the, and the thing she thinking about for this nigga birthday is to set this nigga up on a loyalty test game. <laughs> Fuck. It would be crazy as fuck sometimes, bro. She set my dog up on the loyalty test days before his birthday. And then she mad at him. He said, you set me up. She said, nah, you set yourself up. No, baby. In actuality, you really did set me up, though. Is he wrong for doing all that shit that he was doing? He massaging her and all this shit? Yes, he was fucking wrong. But is she fucked up? And if, if you look at the other side of this shit, she fucked up for that shit. My birthday coming up, I'm getting set up to put some loyalty shit. That's the thing that's coming to your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, gang. I can't do it. And then this nigga so it was so many ways he could have he could have peeped the scene and be like, man, this shit ain't this ain't what it is. Let's let's go through this shit, gang. Look. He get right in here in his weak ass massage, and the first thing she do is they get to talk about, oh damn, you don't get no massages, baby. You on? I could have been like, nah, my girl, I get, I get massages, sweetheart. You feel me? I'm just coming to get a little professional massage. Fuck is you talking about? So, I mean, what do you think about me coming join you in the jacuzzi? Like that? Nah, Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, do she touch on you like this, or how she touch on you? Look, look shit like that. I'm like, sweetheart, what you doing? Are you a masseuse or what you trying to do? Why you keep talking about my lady, bro? I came to get a massage. She booked me a massage. So give my motherfucking massage and shut the fuck up. And then he walked in this empty ass massage parlor. I mean, it do, it do look a little. If you want to follow me this way, we'll go ahead and get you all set up. But it ain't nobody in here though. Thank you. Hey Jack, this shit about to be crazy as fuck. So now that Danny is in the dressing room. That's the video, man. I'm finna go and call it in. But he crazy as hell though. I see how niggas be getting back though. Cause man, ain't no motherfucking way. I don't want to get caught on that shit. 
Not even that. That would just I would have just felt weird weird as hell in the whole situation. You wanna go get in the jacuzzi? Then we in the jacuzzi. Then we get in the jacuzzi. Oh, then we get in the jacuzzi. And she telling me to massage her. Huh? 